You'd think that in this digital age, we wouldn't have a paper problem anymore, but often we still do. Bill Hurlbrink explains in today's Better Homes. Well, there's the doctor's bill, the vet bill, gas bill, mortgage statement, schedule changes, and more to keep track of. My filing system could definitely use an overhaul, and that's why I asked professional organizer Helen Austin for some help on organizing my paperwork around the house. Helen says we should begin with not one, but two filing systems. You're gonna have one that you have daily or weekly access to that's in the heart of your home somewhere. The second one I call a reference system. This is what we're most familiar with. It's those filing cabinets in the second bedroom or in storage or somewhere way out of sight, out of mind, probably packed full of stuff that you have not seen in years. It has its place and it's valuable. In your easy access filer, make it a desktop filing box, not a huge one or one that has a lid, and be sure it can use hanging files and put it in an easy access point in your house. Before you even think about it, no manila envelopes. If you think you need to add a manila file inside of a wire hanging file ever, don't do it. It just adds unnecessary bulk. It basically means you need another wire hanging file. Now that you have your daily file ready, Helen suggests as few file folders as possible. Maybe one for each person in the house and an action file. This is where you would put your bills that need to be paid and anything you want to follow up on. Your last file should be your to file file. So it sounds a little redundant, but this is the file that's going to hold the stuff that's going to maybe eventually land in your reference file. That filing system that is out of sight, out of mind, out of the way, not in quick access. So this is going to hold those items and hopefully once a month or so, you're going to then take those out, revisit whether or not they really need to go into the reference file and put them in your reference filing system. Of course, one of the easiest ways to cut the clutter is to go electronic. A majority of my family's bills are delivered online, which at least to me makes them easier to pay and organize via email or folders on the computer. It also makes them easier to search via keywords should I need to go look something up. For Better Homes, I'm Bill Hurlbrink, KCTV 5 News.